Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Kobulman, and this is a part deuce, dos, deuce, dos, dos. I don't know. Part two of our custom PC build um, series. And again, I'm building this for my friend. And uh, in my previous video, I went over the case itself, what we have in it, kind of an overview, um, overview slash review, I guess, because it kind of turned out into review, although I didn't really want it to um, get to that point. But it's okay, though. I'm really having a lot of fun making these videos. So we are at the part where we're going to pop our, our, or open up our uh, power supply that came for this build. And again, if you want to check out all the parts that are with for this build uh, check out my very first preview video for this build so and then uh, you'll see all the parts I kind of went over each one of them there I'm going to go in, inside of this build so that we can uh, make it happen and I'm just gonna open this up and then we're gonna install this power supply I'm not gonna make it I'm not gonna drag this out or anything I'm just gonna pop this open again this is a VGA supernova 650 watt supply which is more than enough for most builds most regular uh, type of build so we're just going to pop this open and uh, move that out of the way and I'm hoping you guys can see this uh, nicely and again if my picture is bad in, in any way I apologize because I'm filming this at night I work second shift and I don't really have much time in the mornings because I like to sleep in you know so uh, let's pop this bad boy open I don't know how many people like to watch unpacking things, but I certainly do. So, oh wow, this is pretty neat. I did not expect us to see see this here. Some kind of pouch that came with this. So, uh, not sure what it's for, but okay. Anyways, we can put that aside. We can put that over there. Now, since we don't need it, I'm just gonna move it a little bit further over there. And oh, this is a modular, modular power supply. Okay, that's cool. So here's our uh, motherboard connectors. I'm gonna put that aside here. Um, uh, these are just some Velcro ties. Velcros, cool. We're gonna make this thing really sick and make sure that everything looks neat, as neat as possible. Um, here's our just a regular. Uh, um, um, just a, a adapter for power. Uh, looks like this one just goes from regular power to a floppy, if I'm not mistaken, or something else, I guess. But you know, we'll see. If we need it, we'll use it, right? Here's just a regular type of uh, uh, power cable. Yeah, this is all modular, so we'll see. Uh, this is just a regular. This is a serial ATA um, power cables, and looks like a, just a regular. Yeah, this is uh, modular, so this is going to plug into the um, power supply unit itself in the back so I'll show you that in a sec so these are just the regular cables I'm gonna put this out they're all identical um, this looks like I'm not sure what this is let's pop this open and this is a detection tool ah oh, okay okay this is a detection tool for our power supply okay just to kind of detect to see if there's power in it Okay, that's cool. It's pretty neat. Honestly, can't say that I've ever had an EVGA power supply before. But yeah, more SATA cables. Um, some screws. It's always too good to have some screws. And regular power cord. Put that aside. And it's time to lift this bad boy out, right? And these are just protection things. Move this out of the way, and this is just a uh, hoop. I don't need a manual, man. I'm an IT professional, man. Why would I need this? Oh my god, look at this! It's pretty fancy how they got it in there, but yeah, you can see this is a modular power supply. Oh man, this is really nice, uh, matte finish. Matte finish, really nice power supply, actually. See, these are all just uh, you just plug in whatever you need so you don't have extra cables going, you know. Um, wow, you can have eco mode on and off. I guess that maybe. Maybe saves power or whatnot. But yeah, um, just real quick, uh, we're just going to use whatever we need here. This is our regular for motherboard. Um, this is for our video card, I'm pretty sure. This is for SATA. And this is for CPU. This is for, uh, um, well, I guess this one could be used for anything. But this one is actually labored for video. 
So if your video card takes two of these, you can use any of them or just one or both. And this is for SATA. So they got a label, so that's cool. Um, okay, so let's let's make this happen. It's a pretty cool looking power supply. And just a really quick shot for you guys to see. Okay, now let's put it in our uh, into our case. Okay, move this box out of the way. Okay, so here we have our case. We're gonna put our power supply right in here. Um, this one is actually on this case power supply is installed at the at the bottom of it, so that's cool. Um, what I find surprising though, it does not have a switch here. A lot of power supplies would have a selector here for switch between 110 and 220 volt systems. So I'd imagine this may not work in other countries. They use different type of uh, voltage, right, for their power. Okay, so let's let's install this bad boy. Let's just suck this bad boy. So. When you install a power supply, you gotta make sure that it has ventilation, right? So here are the power supply screws that came. We're just gonna uh, screw these right up over here, and I'll show you here in a sec. Let me just let me just get one of these out, and then we're gonna make that happen. Okay, actually, I'm gonna take all of them out, so that way we can install all, all four of them. Okay. Okay. So for the installation of this power supply, we gotta make sure that this fan up here actually is facing inwards, right? So we want it to be facing inwards um, inside the case because this fan actually draws air from the case and then blows it out this way. So we just gotta make sure that it's facing as so, right? So let's go ahead and install it properly here. Okay, oh yeah, um, once I push it in here, you see these uh, little screw marks? We're gonna screw them in from the other side. You see that? Right there, there's one right there, one right there. There's a total of four. So there's um, another right there, and then there's one more right over here. Um, actually a bit, a little bit to be surprised uh, with this power supply, considering how fancy it is, that it does not have a switch um, here that says uh, they, you can switch between 110 and 220 volts. I'm kind of surprised that it doesn't have that. So this wouldn't work um, in other countries that use 220 volts. Uh, we in, in we in the United States use 110. So that's what the standard here is here. So that's kind of unfortunate. So I'm going to go ahead and put these screws in here. Um, just a moment. I'm going to use provided screws that came with it. So it's a kind of color match. So just to kind of show you back here, as you can see here, um, for these holes have to align properly, and then we're just going to tighten them down in the back here. Uh, let me see if I can show you a little bit more. See if you look, if you look on the bottom one, here, um, actually right there, as well. It just kind of aligns. Um, same thing as right here, and then there's there's one right there too. So. So as you can see here, I got most of my screws in already. And guys, be careful with these here. You don't want to over tighten them too much because they can easily um, uh, strip strip the thread, not on the screw itself, but that that's the, the threaded in part that's in here, right? So underneath that, on the power supply itself, you know. So just kind of be careful with that um, because this stuff is pretty soft, you know. But, you know, now it's secure in there, so uh, we don't have to worry about it here too much. And here, let me show you here. I'm just going to move this camera here real quick. And I'm going to uh, plug in a couple of these modular modular cables in. And just reach over and grab them. And here's our, uh, one of our um, serial well, I know I need two, so looks like there's three on a single one here. So I'm just going to plug this one in because I don't want to make it too many cables. I want to keep, you know, have as, 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 as less cable as possible. That way we're going to have uh, less of an issue with airflow, you know. I'm just going to plug it in right here, okay? And I'll show you exactly. Oh, oh hold on. 
let me show you exactly then, right? Don't just tell us. Show us, right? All right. So. I'm hoping that's visible enough. Focus, you know, that. But here they are. Right here. Any of these will work. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug it into this closer one here so you guys can see. I'm just going to plug it into this one. Very simple. And once you hear it click, it's in there. So that's our cable, first cable for our modular pro supply. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you don't mind, go ahead and subscribe so you don't uh, miss my next video. But in my next video, I'm going to be putting my... Uh, I'm going to be putting a uh, motherboard in here, uh, and then um, I'll kind of go over a few things, over it, what to do and what not to do when it comes to that, and um, it should be a fun video, so um, uh, make sure you check that out, uh, leave a comment if you like, and I'll see you next time, bye-bye.